So you don't think that's natural? He just you, got you it. You really don't feel like it's natural. No, but I'm t- no, that's not real. That's not real. I refuse to believe that's real. There's people that's like that though, Ale. I know, I'm not bro, saying that's that not I- him. He, imagine, not him. imagine, oh. imagine like you put. Bro, go a- look at the way he's walking. But- we had a neighborhood or whatever we would have like Beyblade and like Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments and shit right yeah and then I think it's that moment where you go into like you know you sneak like sixth grade and shit you sneaking in the like you trading cards or shit in the bathroom or after school or some shit like that but then middle school is where you like okay there's more women here like I'm trying to spread my wings you thinking you a big kid but you really not a big kid yet but you do some new shit (laughs) and then like then you got your homie like from your neighborhood and these niggas are dueling in the courtyard like we're like women and everything walking around and like people just looking at them disgusted and they're like yo Corey over here i was like nah i'm gonna catch y'all like, like, <laughs> <laughs> like but no niggas was bringing dual discs to school and i'm like oh my gosh like yeah y'all right now like it's the it's equivalent like of like the naruto run like down the hallway yeah i think it's um but yu was one where I kind of embraced it just because it's it was so it, it felt like That's the norm hard. yeah it right. felt like the norm you felt like it was something that everybody accepted i think with anime was more niche um yeah manga was even less than you know what i've saying? never even touched the Yu-Gi-Oh! yeah nah, if you, i feel like back in the day if you like manga people just instantly assumed like you was a hentai kid That's i didn't like and maybe i mean maybe you are like you know what i'm saying maybe. Like, but, but, but i think back then i didn't know. even um i didn't know what manga was for, a long, for, the, for the longest time i you know i just thought like i just viewed anything that wasn't the anime as spoilers and so yeah, the, man i never remember that, I remember, like, uh, uh, book it, series like the bones like the bone dude it kind of has like anime type uh drawings is that considered manga what i don't know what i don't know what you're talking it's called about. like bones bro it's like this little like it's a it's a it's a, i think it's an anime or i think it's a manga but like it has manga type uh, art but I'm pretty sure it's a, it's like a, it's an American cartoon, so that's why mm. I was asking. I think that was like my first ever introduction to like manga. I think, but I don't know if that's considered manga. Oh, you talking about oh bone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you oh, look it up? Yeah, I looked it up. Um, you don't remember that shit? Yeah, well, you know, I was I didn't grow up in America, so it's a comic book. Man, yeah, it's just a comic even book. Know what you're talking about that's crazy. Oh, okay, that's considered yeah. a comic. Book. Yeah, it's just considered I mean, a comic book. I mean, yeah, so I guess yeah, basically the same thing. Um, yeah, I, I think my first manga I read was, it got to be like one of the big three. Yeah, it was Naruto. It got to be one of the big three. Maybe probably Naruto. For me, yeah. What what uh manga was to me, was like you be watching Naruto, right? And then a nigga come out and be like, hey, nah, bro, I know a dude in Japan and he told me this. And right. Was basically right. Like, acting like they had the inside track. It was like, yeah. That I was know that nigga happened. Richie for me, bro. It was this nigga yeah. that acting like he knew all this shit, but he was just reading the manga. Wait, how the yeah. fuck would he know that when, like, I'm, I'm not, like, trying to, like, make y'all seem like y'all ancient or nothing, but, like, bro, y'all did not have iPods. Like, the second generation of no, we had Safari the on internet. It, you, yeah, but I'm saying... Bro, nah, I'm really talking about like, in, like, that. like y'all ain't really this was like this that. was Ali. This was like oh, I'm talking about like maybe oh, oh two. Bro, I'm talking about like oh two oh three. Oh, no, that nigga, bro, go, That's bro. what I'm saying. Is he quite not what I'm saying? No, but this is when this. I was so seven. No, oh like, oh two oh three is when somebody was talking about it, and I didn't know. I just thought like my, that's when Naruto was airing on Toonami. It was oh three oh four. Uh, that's what it's, saying, yeah. Like, I was specifically asking, like, how the fuck does this guy know a Japanese dude? Like nowadays, it makes sense. Like, oh, I got a Japanese. Friend, oh, you know, this no, I think, forums, I think it's all this shit. Back in the day, bro, people was not talking to no. Japanese no, I don't think. I don't think was, the, was, the, yeah, that was just a story that they was coming. Oh, with. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I know. It was like, oh yeah, the, I know a guy. I know the plug. Type yeah, the dude oh, that 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 oh, used to talk plug. about it. He made it seem like he just knew. We never really, and you know, what had, he just made like, it seem like he knew. Knowledge. We yeah, but he. His ass? I mean, he was right. He was right. He was right. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't reading no manga. I didn't even know where to find manga. I barely had internet at the time, and then I didn't even know manga was a thing. And so I didn't know manga I, was ahead of TV. Like as far as I knew, everything I watched, I didn't know what it was, bro. I remember he said one thing. He said that stuck out, always stuck out, was before Gara showed up. He's like, "Yo, once the dude with the red hair show up, y'all gonna go crazy." I said, like, "What the fuck?" Oh, yeah, like yeah. that. 
Yeah. It's like the first niggas with, that was Yeah, reading. bro. Well, so me, he made it seem like he had like somebody that was funneling him into information and shit. And I'm just like, Yeah, I'm like, damn, this nigga's a wizard. Man, fuck like, this nigga, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I was hating. I, I was hating, high key. I ain't gonna lie. Me, for me, it was uh, it was when uh, he was telling me that Sasuke was gonna do Chidori and shit, and I was like, "Yo, what?" Yeah, yeah. you didn't yeah. know what Chidori was though. Nah, I did. Well, I saw oh, he Kakashi. Was I saw Kakashi. Kakashi, Kakashi used Chidori. Oh, so I was because Kakashi used Chidori against Zabuza. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's that's the thing. Beginning of the tuning exams and shit, and I'm like, "Oh, word!" Like, oh, he gonna have a sharing gun? Like, bro, like it was crazy. Did y'all see the new One Piece episode? Uh, I saw the clips with Aokiji and oh no, uh, you talking about with Law? Yeah, the recent episode was Law and, Law versus Blackbeard, Aokiji versus Cracker. That shit. Uh, nice. uh, this sounds weird. Well, maybe it don't sound weird. Um, but I saw you react to it, so like that's how I kind of watch like the episodes. If you react to it, I see like the clips that you be posting. Nah, I mean, um, that's not weird. Yeah, so I was like, it's not weird, but like that's how I saw it because I don't really be watching like anime like that that much. I mean, yeah, I think the One Piece anime itself is kind of, it's selective where the moments that you want to really watch anyway. Um, like, But the clips look like uh, they was going crazy. Okay, now they were going, I mean. to me, like, because I don't watch anime that I read. Ah, okay, okay. So it's like, what, mm. like, what, why are you specifically re-watching? If, like, you wasn't making content about mm. anime, you would still be re-watching the anime? Yeah, I, well, I, I, would, I, wouldn't, like, I wouldn't watch as much as I watch, but I... I would watch it just to see this shit come yeah, to life. Saying, I only watch like yeah, just to see it come to life. life. Just to see yeah. it come to life because I think I'm a, I'm I'm more of an anime guy than manga guy anyway. Like I rather anime because yeah, that's kind of that's where I got Same. my start. Um, um, I only like I mean it's hard to do that because like a lot of these animes ain't even like done. You know what yeah, I'm sure, but I think, I think it's just it's bro. I, I'm starting to realize more, and this is due to JJK. It got it, it brought my joy back. So I'm starting to realize it's like a whole library of shit out here. It's not even just about bro. You Japanese. know it's crazy. JJK has brought everybody's joy. Like a lot of people. Like I I I was like when I watched it, I was like, damn, this made me feel like when I was watching anime for the first time when I was like a teenager. And then I I've heard multiple people say that since then. We'll have yeah. a JJK segment at the end, Ali, so we can tell niggas like, "Hey, we about to spoil JJK." Oh, okay, I was gonna say. Yeah, like, we'll have it at the end. Finally, you finally got to that. I'm point, caught up. So I just to yeah, I'm caught oh up. yeah, my caught nigga up. Caught, caught up, up, bro. You caught up now. So, um, yeah, we'll talk. Matter of fact, let's get let's get into some of the topics that we're trying to talk okay. about real quick. Um, y'all saw the y'all saw the Super Bowl. Yeah. Yes. Real quick thoughts. Of course, of course. On the Super Bowl or with yeah. like Super Bowl, general? just in general, Super Bowl halftime. What, what were y'all thoughts on it? Uh, Usher halftime show was cool. Uh, it was dope. This uh, ain't his top I, five. Yeah, why, no, no. why was he sweating so much though? Like that nigga thing is, thing is nerves. Moving. A little was bit he nerves. moving like that? Like the only thing that I really saw at, at an usher that was like kind of impressive was the fucking roller skates. I was like, all right, that's good. You know how do. much choreography that shit yeah. is. I feel it, like a motherfucker like me. I feel like I can go all over the shit right now. Had. But uh. I would say like <laughs> I would I'm just, I'm just yo and like I'm not gonna lie, but it's like okay, I understand that Usher is more y'all generation, so it's like maybe it that's hits, crazy like, that you just try to make us old. Go ahead. He not you wrong. Part bro. of him, yeah. You a part of him. We not close, Corey. We like half a decade apart, bro. We what, not what year were you born? Ninety seven, nigga. You, I was born in ninety four. That's three years. Bro, my brother's born in ninety eight, and I know culturally it's different, but like that was you, bro. Like. Nicky no, I'm sure. Nah, 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 Corey. Usher was us, though. But I'm saying, but confession. That was, bro. I feel like. But I'm saying, Ali, Ali, Ali like, being like, born, Ali, said 97. Yeah, like when I was so up in junior about, high, it was about, Justin Bieber, bro. Like, so you might be like 20. You might be 26, so right? So. I might be 27. Bro, I'd Confessions be 27. Came out in 2004, so he was seven when Confessions came out, bro. Yeah, but Ali, at seven, you're not listening to Usher. Not to mention, you I didn't wasn't even, like, to I was it was everywhere. I didn't I didn't listen to Usher. I mean Okay, that's fair. Yeah. If he was in another country, that's fair. Yeah, and I didn't know another country. I thought uh, Usher's more our speed, and even back then, I was in I was in another country. I was listening to Usher like that. I would hear like the, the hits. No, yeah. Usher was my guy. Uh yeah. I just ask you, Corey, like, or b- both of y'all, like that fucking like little twitch move dance that he be doing, yeah. like that was, think that's fire. That's fire. It was fire for the time. That's fire for the time. So it's just okay, fire. okay, okay, for the time. Because and so it's like now it's nostalgic. Right it's nostalgic bro, now. I saw him up on that stage, and when I saw him do that, I didn't, bro. Like I'm not gonna say I cringed, but like, I, 
how was that ever a dance move, bro? I mean, bro, I, this is not your generation. This is not your generation. Exactly. That, okay, yeah, exactly, exactly. But it's like it's kind of like when people now that do the, the little Uzi grab their hips and do that. We looking at it crazy. Like, what are they doing? It looks. Oh, it looks I, insane. I just ride? Yeah. That's like. You think that's fire? That's not even like a fucking uh, <laughs> dance move. That's like a you know a Street Fighter finisher. Like, but that's like, what I'm ah. saying. It looks crazy. Saying, like, okay, okay. But like Usher's thing, like he would like he did like a whole at, at, like spin 360, like gave a whole fucking show. Here's the thing with Usher, right? I think Usher has gotten to the point where I'm starting to look at him as like top five R and B artists of all time. All time, all time. Like that's where uh, Usher is. Like, like legitimately. It, like if we if no specific order, like there's Michael Jackson's there. There's R. Kelly. There's R. Okay, Kelly. Okay. For sure. In your group of people, like when you make lists like top five all time, do you include people that you didn't like listen to or experience to? Like I try to, but it's like I can't. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody gonna bring up okay, like. So uh, it's like if you say, "Oh, I I don't got uh Michael Jordan in my top five all time because you didn't watch him." So it's kind of like yeah, saying. that's okay. yeah. So that so for people that I haven't listened to. Um, We're not I, including them. I well, it's like somebody like Whitney Houston. I gotta include her, but I didn't listen to too much Whitney. But it's like I gotta include Whitney Houston and like Luther Vandross, right? And then like even some people right. go like to Aretha Franklin, and Stevie Kane. Wonder, you know. And so Stevie Wonder is a big one. Um, I, I don't know. Do we count Beyonce as R and B? Right? Is she yeah. count? Does she count? I mean, she's she's multiple genres. If we talk about good. top five, like my top five is would be Mike, Beyonce, Usher. Whitney and probably probably Luther. So you're not gonna put R. Kelly in that? <laughs> I actually no, take out Luther, R. Kelly, my bad. Who R. Kelly. Luther? Luther Vandross. Is that like if you I don't know, know about if you don't well yes, but, but like it, if but, you don't know about Usher, you're not gonna know about Luther Vandross. Yeah, no. so people before before us might say um Marvin Gaye, James Brown, Al Green. Prince, right? Niggas like that. Diana Ross, Smokey Robinson. But for me and what I listened to growing up, it was be. I, I think even listened to more Beyonce than Michael Jackson, to be honest. Be, I listened to Beyonce and Usher more than Michael Jackson. Beyonce, Usher, Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, and, and R. Kelly. Yo, quick tangent. Like, after seeing that Usher performance, like, would you rather go to a male concert or a female concert of, like, the highest class if you could? Like, would you rather... I always I feel rather like, go to a male like like concert. You can't, I really say, I feel like is. you can't say Beyonce because she's like, I feel like in a class. She's transcended. Yeah. She's one of the best performers ever. But that's what I, yeah, yeah, because I was going to say like, one, ever. She performed last year, no? That was her last year? No. Year before last. No, no, no. That was Rihanna, I, wasn't it? Rihanna. That was Rihanna last oh, year. Then before that was a Dr. Dre sworn, and Snoop. I could have sworn. She did it recently, like, I recently. think. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, I'm like, damn, bro. Like, it was. But Beyonce's like the best. She just. So going back to my question, like y'all would rather watch like a female like artist at the top of her game or like a male? I male. Don't have I would a rather male. I don't have a preference. I think if they're just that great of a performer, I'm gonna watch and I love their music. I'm gonna watch it. I'd rather male, um, because I think I listen to more male artists anyway. I think I listen um, to more female artists. I I don't. Yeah, not me. I think I, I I so like it's like for instance, I'm not going to an Alicia Keys concert. Hell no. <laughs> right, but I, even though I love Alicia Keys, but if she's on the docket, like if she's an opener, I'm down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I, I don't mind going to see Usher. Obviously, the, the rappers with Drake and shit. Like R and B is tough. Like I, even right <laughs> now, I don't think I'm as interested in the Chris Brown concert. I'm not. Gonna, um, but shout out to Breeze. But I'm at a different place in my life. You know what I'm saying? Maybe 15 years ago, 10 years ago. Like is I'm he talking performing about, like, like classics, or is he performing like his everything? Shit? Take you down, pop in, you know, everything. yeah, all that. Uh, no, no air. I like, would say, um, I well, I went to two concerts last year. So the last one I went to was Victoria Monet, and Victoria Monet is like she's she popping now. Well, yeah, but I I've kind of been like privy to Victoria Monet, so it's kind of a little bit before. I found out so, about her this year, to be honest. Yeah, like if you like Ariana Grande, that's Victoria Monet. She wrote most of that shit. Yeah, that's what I heard. She, she won. She won some Grammys this year too, right? Yeah, she won three. Um, yeah, but like I went to see her perform. Uh, Why? Like, what, oh, you uh, always you always knew about her. You just wanted to see her. 
I yeah, I knew about her. I fucked with her album, and then my girl is a uh, she's a huge fan. So we was like, ah, okay, okay, let's go together. Yeah, that's um, right. So we went, bro. Uh, we talking about like breath control, dancing while singing. Like, that's something people don't don't like talk about a yeah. lot. Like how hard it is to do shit while talking and so singing, anyway. and like it's it, that's insane. That Beyonce is the greatest at that, but right. Um, it, it's 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 Usher was out of and breath, I'm talking bro. about like it it was a it was a scaled down thing but like it was still great so like it was like at the house of blues um it was her and she had two backup uh backup dancers and then she had a live band I'm talking about choreography like uh cha- uh costume changes she looked great um her voice sound great live and it was her voice and then I like ombre and uh ombre had opened up for her but before I saw Victoria Monet um for i for valentine's day last year we went to go see ari lennox and that was more so for me um and ari lennox was was hard too but victoria monet definitely i think the concert was better but i enjoy ari lennox more than i do victoria i said this about usher it's kind of like uh i think he's gotten to a point where he's it's, it's he's more legacy now because he's been doing yeah, it for so icon. long he's a I, he's an iconic um performer like i would go to see him but it's just like the 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 years of hits right all the way back back from kind of you got it bad um all all the way to just where you got the oh my god you had a love in this club the confession in my way like he has gotten he's been consistent for so long it's really hard to put a lot of people you know kind of with him um so I'd, i'd i'd definitely go to an usher show and I would say, lie. to your point, I would say Confessions is one of the best R&B albums ever. I think it's probably viewed as the it's best. Top, I think It's top three for me. But, like, yeah, it's, like, one of the best ever. But I think, like, I got, like, Beyonce albums, like B-Day. I don't know. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> one of the best ever. Like, yeah, I don't, yeah. I'm not going to get into, like, who's better. But, like, if it's nah, Confessions is arguably, five, like, it's, it's, it's at worst top three. three. Yeah. It's that worst top three. Confessions it's, it's is like, like that. your uh it's Michael Jordan, LeBron, Kobe, like it's that type of shit. You know, to be honest, that's not why I brought up like Usher. I brought up Usher because that nigga's a menace and he needs to be stopped. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh the Nicki Minaj headbutt. What the fuck? The, the, the oh, I, thought the talk, I thought I thought he was talking about Alicia Keys. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, Wait, Alicia when Keys. okay, hold on. I seen the clip with Nicki Minaj. I'm guessing that's from a while back because ain't no way yeah. that was back to back. I'm saying show. it's a consistent. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. That was from like a while back. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah. but my he's thing is like him. he's a consistent menace though. Yeah. Like, what are you that's- doing? Like, he smacked her ass, bro. The thing is, like, he headbutted her ass and showed a bump. He hit his shoulder on that shit. No, he hit his shoulder and then he went put his face <laughs> on it and then he stood up and then smacked it. <laughs> and Nicki kind of looked at him like. Nigga, she was not know. expecting that. Right? <laughs> but no, no, no. Let's let's listen to this. He put his shoulder on it a couple times. Then he head butted her ass. <laughs> then he stood up and then and smack smack that playing. shit. He's, oh, I'm sorry. He didn't grab it. He smacked it while playing the guitar, bro. Like, what are you doing? I, and I, then I had to talk to Usher after the show. Like, bro, that's my. Wife. And then the Alicia Keys shit. I, that was more performative. I didn't feel that bad about that. Ah. Alicia Keys shit. I mean, he was a little touchy, touchy boy. Like, if that was your woman, that was like, just you would be bro. Boo? The song is my boo. They was playing like I love my album. boo. My boo What's is kind of like the first song, the first R and B song where this is before like the internet was popping like that, right? I'm talking yeah. about like this is one oh six and Park days, shit like that. No, thanks. where my boo, I legitimately thought they were like, like you together. Was, you thought they was together. I and thought they were I think together. It was just playing. I think the you know was just playing up on that. I don't like, think she, I don't think that was playing though. I, I feel like I don't if she know. knew because feel- she how she reacted, Corey was like, ah, this is like he doing a little much. But that's but I think that's just Usher though. Usher is gonna perform. So if there's a woman involved, Usher is gonna do the most because he's gonna give the people what they want and you're gonna talk sure. about it. I, no facts, facts. I understand like it's it was an amazing performance, especially with nostalgia. But when you grab her behind like that, and Alicia yeah. Keys when she what she made it do? look like what uh, you gonna do? I mean, it's like she just she played into it, you know what I'm saying? But it's That's like how saying. she looked was okay. Like this is just part of the performance, part of the performance, part of the performance. And you know, Swizz, Swizz is a you know he kind of was just like, yo, it is, he's yeah, like, it is what it is. It is what it is. But I'm sure he was like, and that nigga was <laughs> that nigga, so much. He, he did a little, he did a little much. And then when you think but, about yeah. the Kiki Palmer thing, it's like you and know, and then Kiki it goes all the way back to Boondocks, bro. Yeah. <laughs> That nigga, it's like, that's just what he does. And the crazy part is like, 
Usher not even into these chicks. He like ugly hoes. Wait, hold, I, I, on. I, I, hold on, hold on. What's hold on. even crazier <laughs> is, do you what? know the story behind the Usher episode? How they came up with that? No, what's the story behind it? So the story was. Oh, the wait, writers, wait, wait, yeah, I do know, I do know. Go ahead, go yeah, ahead. Go ahead. So that, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Really, uh, so basically, yeah. for those who don't know, and to Ale, so the writers of the Boondocks they went to a restaurant. Usher was there, and uh, I, I guess one of the dudes' ex wives or whatever, where it was his wife at the time. Um, she just be having a bad attitude and shit, and she was just like in her mood or whatever. She saw Usher, then she just lit up. And like she is basically on that nigga dick, kind of like the Usher episode of the Boondocks. And like after they left or whatever, they was like, you know, we're using that, right? <laughs> and he was like, bro. And so that's how they kind of concocted the episode. So to even see that Boondocks is still true to this day, um, Usher, like, just, just like that is crazy. Usher is the embodiment of a 90s star. So I feel like he plays into the character yeah, a lot. That's Mr. You know? Steal Your Girl, bro. Mr. Steal Your Girl. Um, and I think for Usher, that's interesting that he's, well, isn't that Trey Songs? Trey Songs is Mr. Steal Your Girl, but that's really Usher, bro. Usher like, said, don't leave a girl around yeah, me, true player for real. True player for real. Like, don't leave your girl around me. That nigga meant that shit. Yeah. I, yo, something real quick. This is a quick side note. I thought Trey Songs was about to be one of those for a while. He had a, he had a nice run. Yeah, he had a nice run. He had a nice, he had a nice run. Voice, like you know, he got the appeal for the ladies and shit. Like, it, I think it's the, I don't know what. Oh, it's the other shit. It, it's the it's other all the shit, other shit. But, like I felt like he disappeared before the, we were even aware of the other shit, though. Well, I think it's probably because of the other shit. Like it was, it hadn't come out yet, and people kind of want to cut ties early. Well, Trey Songz has been accused of like sexual assault and like sex, rape yeah, so, well, several Kiki times. Palmer, uh, Kiki Palmer what? was the first time I heard about it when she was talking yeah. about it. And then where, the other woman started yeah. coming out afterwards. She didn't say explicitly that he did that, but he's like... Oh, yeah. Kind of, sort of. But it's like, she is said he put her in a situation... Music or he's just like kind of died down? I think he's still making music. It's just that bro, part of music is marketing. A major part of music is marketing. And it's like, people gotta hear your shit. And it's like, it could be fire. If nobody's listening to your shit and it don't get traction, it's not going to go anywhere. So I think for Trey Songs, his shit just isn't getting pushed. Even though he's, he, I've listened to a recent song, like, this is a good ass song. Why nobody listen to this? It's because no, it's like, no, it's kind of hands off with Trey Songs right now. He's kind of toxic. And so I, I think back then with a lot of the shit he was getting into, the, the rape allegations, sexual assault allegations, assault, uh, straight up assault allegations, going to jail. It's just like people are like, yeah, we ain't we ain't messing with that. And I don't think the the level of star that he was didn't equal the 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 trouble that a lot of people felt like it was worth. So it, at some point I thought he would be or he was up there. He was up there with those guys, but he kind of fell off a little bit. Um but now Usher Like we, Drake literally has a bar, like some thought I'd never be as big, big as a Trey songs, but was she wrong? She wrong. Exactly. Yeah. Like Trey was yeah. him. Yeah, Trey, Trey used to be that guy. Because this is back in the replacement girl days where it was like where uh Drake was kind of coming up and Trey was already established because that was like um the I can't help but wait days. Yeah, they but, um, they had the replacement girl. That shit went mm -hmm. hard. Mm hmm Um Ali, we didn't we didn't really dive too much into it, but I guess since you're here, do you want to comment on Drake's missile? <laughs> Oh my God! You gonna start with me? I mean, Corey already gave his take. What did Corey say? Uh, all he said was he saw it. I mean, I say it's impressive, like, <laughs> but it, but uh, okay, maybe that's not the right word, but I'm just saying, like, this is it said it's impressive. What I told the wrong word to be okay, impressive. Okay, my bad, my bad. What it's I told not, what I told the guys not impressive. It's not impressive. You you happy fan? It's not impressive. You know why? So what is I it? I expected it. Oh, you expected it to be like that. Not because he's like my fucking goat, but I feel like we had this conversation a while back, and it's like if you was drizzy, whether your dick was small or big, you're gonna get that shit enlarged because you out here fucking anyway, it's gonna get like you think you got you think you got like a you think you got a a transplant or something? Yeah, that shit ain't real. Bro, <laughs> that shit was soft like that before. That shit not real. Like, I'm not saying like I'm a fucking... I mean, but like fucker. everybody ain't a grower grower. You know what I'm saying? Like... Bro, like he was... I'm not going to say he was playing with it, but like... 
<laughs> he was casual. He even like, take his. He, he, bro, he yo, he even go super saying it. It was like Detroit smash sixty percent. He even go like, super saying it. That nigga said he was one. He was uh, Zoro uh, one sword. But like, wait, this this okay. This brings up an interesting question though, where we got to start thinking about this. Okay. Like, is it better to send like a a semi medium slong, like not all the way hard yet, so that the woman can like think about how big it gets as opposed to like fully erect where it's like it's full potential realized because now you got chicks kind of thinking like yo damn how big does it get so is that the new tech i think it depends on what you're working with like ah okay if you, okay, if you okay. average i think you you're gonna probably lean more towards like the the fully full, yeah full. yeah if you probably but if you got the drake if you if you got a little mode, then you gonna you know do what you want to do. Cause I th- I think that I think that's that's more enticing. Mm, I feel like, it, I mean, the thing with it, what Corey's saying though is like, let's say you average right, and you uh, you send it small, you send it yeah, soft, yeah, no, no, you gonna no, look, you it's gonna look crazy. Yeah, but, hey yo, that's crazy. <laughs> it's gonna look crazy. But, but, it's gonna but, look crazy. It's, but if you're like, let's say you send her at a, like a seventy five to eighty percent chub, right? Mm. At that point, when she gets there, she think like she's gonna be like, "Oh, that's it." Mm. It just depends on what you work. But so I mean, I think- I'm always about underselling and over delivering. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Like if you send that pick right there, right, and you like eighty to a hundred percent, and she hits you with the, "Oh, I can't wait till you get hard." Like at that point, my heart has sunk. Like, what do you mean you can't wait until I get hard? This is me. <laughs> like not much me left. Hard. Like I'm gonna hit it with that. <laughs> <laughs> Braga, I will also say to your point, uh, it depends on where you are with the girl. Uh, because like if you undersell, like you could fuck you could lose it. it. My thing is like but, I, I've but never been like on, you shouldn't be sending dick pics anyway. I don't think you yeah, should. Yeah, send I don't really pics. I don't really be sending that yeah, I don't really believe in that either. But uh I, I also think though, if you got a lot more than what is it expected you have more room to kind of play yeah. around you can send something crazy soft and like you don't care because you know what you got i think if you send a dick pic send like a like a like a sweatpant you know what i'm saying like don't don't like send Honestly, the full like, beard dick like, the v? I feel like yeah yeah send it a v you know what i'm saying don't send like the beard because then what you don't got nothing else you're gonna send her balls next you know what i'm saying it's nothing saying, else like, I'm just saying, like with the dick pic, i think it's like the equivalent of the girl's ass pic. it's like really about the angle bro like it's sure. Even, like I'm gonna show her something soft but real up close. Do you feel me? Like what you gonna do? Like you gonna put it next to like, like next to air, air next to next to air like, freshener? Nah, not nah. That air freshener <laughs> got a big G. Like, <laughs> I might be. You know. What I'm saying? You know, like, niggas like, are getting niggas are um are starting to get creative. Niggas are starting to Photoshop and dick. Um, what do they call it? Um, uh, dick fish. What? Dick fish. Yeah. What do you mean? Basically, they're sending a dick that's not theirs. Oh, you got dick fish. Oh, like catfish. Yeah. Yeah. Niggas are starting to do that. Uh, so, you know, um, like it's 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 getting it's getting scary out here. Um, so so women they 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 don't know anymore. But But what's the benefit to that? Cause some chicks like, what if you send a chick a dick and it's like a big ass dick, she might be like, damn, I want to taste that. Right, but then when you pull up you and you show up like I'm just having a bad day. Oh, so you're saying like they're uh, catfishing you, but it can't be like, oh, it's not like, you know, you know, how, you remember Frieza in Dragon Ball? He yeah. Said he only want to be like a couple inches taller. So right, like, right, right. Obvious. So you don't go so too crazy. Saying, oh. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, okay. But it's like, it looked good on camera. So it's like the equivalent of fake lying about your height. So essentially, because chicks don't know what six foot is anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I feel like that. Yeah, I also think like that. I also think like some women have like an unrealistic uh expectation of dick. Bro, um, I mean in terms of like like of say course. For instance, yeah, yeah, like so like say for instance, I remember this girl from my uh from college or whatever and like she was like you got to be seven or or above the shove, right? Which is I was like, Crazy. okay, whatever floats your boat. And then uh, That's one a big day, dick. Bro, one day that's crazy. Uh, one day I had uh showed her a ruler and I was like, How do you think this is? Uh, and she was like, No, that's a really good side. I was like, Bro, that's six inches. And she's like, Oh, bro, I'm bugging. And I was like, Oh, okay, I just wanted to know. Mm. Corey, I feel like you that's how that's how that's how Corey pulled up on her. Like, Yo, can you handle this? 
That's the minimum I'm coming uh, with. Let me show them. <laughs> no, I just, I just proving a point. But that, that's the homie though. So you know, I just I like I think uh, when I, at a younger age, uh, I was Corey's uh, more I, mature I, than I am. I realized that. What do you mean? Because like, if I'm having a conversation about dick with somebody, she's not the homie. Well, I think I was curious about a lot of things. So, like, uh, when she, also said that he had, my like, uh, yeah, like one of he my girls. He had a girl best friend. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, because if I have a girl best friend, I'm not even touching that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I have, I have like, I have friends now that are, uh, what would be the word? Um, coworkers. No. <laughs> Female coworkers. Uh, no. <laughs> it's um. What's the C word I'm looking for, Corey? You said the C word? Companion? No. <laughs> Fuck. Customers? <laughs> you said customers? <laughs> Customer? <laughs> it is. What are you trying to describe? I don't know what you, what are you trying to describe? It's like a relationship that's strictly, oh, not, not C word, platonic. Platonic. I was like, nigga, what C word are you? I was like, this yeah, nigga, I don't know. A, pl- a platonic. It's, pl- it's a platonic, okay. right? And yeah. I would never dare, like, cross that line because I know once we go over there, like, ain't no putting the dick back in the bag. Hey, yo, that nigga said once it's out, it's out. Once it's out, it's out. When it's just on it's the table. Rapey, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. First of all, first of all, first of all, she's 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 making this happen too. It's like a it's like a it's like an That's agreement. That's a rapey line too. You made this happen. That's it's, bro, and didn't she? Nah. She did though, like that's what I'm saying. So I would never cross that line because I know, like, I don't. Want, it's not. It's it's hard to go back once you and a friend talks about like dick and shit. But either way, um, I think for me, um, I just had a lot of questions that I felt like weren't answered, mm-hmm. um, or that I didn't know how to answer those. So like, I had like vi- like word word to them. I just had like uh, female friends that they wasn't weirded out by conversation and I wasn't trying to like be a weird nigga. I was like, no, I really just had these questions. And so we would just have those type of conversations. Let's quickly talk about how the unreal- unrealistic expectations that women have of men and dick where it's like, if a woman not wet, it's the man's fault. If the man not hard, it's the man's fault. If he, <laughs> if he come too quick, it's the man's fault. If he take too long, it's the man's fault. Like this. Speaking of that, you see the, uh, Shannon Sharp when he was like, if you got that scullion, I'm I'm touching bus. <laughs> what? <laughs> he was talking to Ocho. And he if he got like, that scullion, you talking about it stink? <laughs> nah, he was saying if she got that, that good, he was like, you got that scullion, I'm touching bus. Oh, scullion is like, a weird got, way to say that. Yeah, he an old nigga. So he was like, man, yeah, man. He was like, you can't be mad at me if I last three minutes. Uh, he was like, "You ain't gonna try to get him again." Oh, he was like, "No, nah, I see you same time tomorrow." <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "Yeah, man." He was like, "It's your fault. You did." This. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think when once you mature, you realize that you realize Certain that, like, bro, like I'm not doing all that. You realize that, like, what it is, what it is, man. Like this, this just come with the territory. Like you can't be, you can't say, be throwing that like that. I will say, I think. Well, men and women kind of, you know, of course, we just operate differently. And like mm-hmm. once you do make like a like a woman come a certain amount of times, I think it's like the expectation of like this is what's going to happen every single time we have sex. And it's like sometimes you just might not be like. Sometimes you're mode. not trying to do all that. Yeah, that like agreed. You know, sometimes, sometimes it's like, hey, man, I'm just, you know, I was just trying, trying to get in water. and get out. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to get in and get out. It's, that's it. We try to, yeah. we try you know, play a whole game. But um, yeah, I think I think Drake. I said this Ali to them that I'm surprised Drake's Drake's missile didn't leak sooner, just because the type of nigga that Drake seemed to be, it seemed like he'd be just sending dick to everybody. Um, I mean, it just depends on how you think that like that shit leak. You think uh, that's like an actual leak, or you think he just put it out there? Cause no, I think he sent it to somebody. I mean, you don't. That that can't be his first time, though. So. Exactly, but I think nah, like I, I feel that, like he just I, honestly he just the wrong. Is like, this the wrong chick? Is it somebody nah, that was? Conscious? I really feel like Drake. Knowing Drake, like in my head, I can see it all coming out. Like he's insecure, right? So he probably fucked some bitch. He probably got told that his dick was small. He went and go ahead and got the plastic surgery or whatever the fuck surgery he needed. So you don't think that's natural? He just you, got. You really it. don't feel like it's natural? No, but I'm t- no. That's not real. That's not real. I refuse to believe that's real. 
It's people that's like that though, Ale. I know, I'm not but saying that's that not I, him. He, imagine, that's not him. imagine, <laughs> imagine, like you pull. Bro, up, go look a, at the way he's walking before that. I'm not. Like, I'm, I'm not analyzing. Where's that? Why the he's walking? Not analyzing. Wait, there's a clip of him walking before that. Well versed in this. Wait, how long was this clip that you saw, Ali? Yeah, I don't like, know what I'm not that nigga was looking at film. I don't know. <laughs> saying, but the all 22. He's uh, breaking 22. down film. Like, that's crazy. The all 22 yeah, film is saying crazy. something different. Is all that nigga saying. said that shit curve. No, but, but like listen. I said, he's insecure. He, he, you know what I'm saying? He was in the DMs with an Instagram baddie. The Instagram baddie was letting her friends know that Drake's dick was small. So you he think he leaked his own purpose? Circle. Yeah, he was getting around the circle. So to recoup the baddies he done lost. He went, I'll go and went ahead and get the surgery, right? Hey, like Young Thug right. said. He leaked a pic got, to basically say, like, yo, she's just lying. Like, like, I, got several, like I got several points to that. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. Uh, well, Brago, from Brago's mouth. What? What are you talking um, about? He said, Drake said way before that, Drake said, uh, this long dick ain't for the long talking. So he said that kind of matched that's, up. From that's what he mouth. said. He said that? Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's when, our, our, our uh, fucking problems. Fucking problems. Um, this is a weird conversation. And then on, and, and then on, um, on, um, bro, ASAP Rocky honestly probably man checked him at the studio of that song. But you know, ASAP, ASAP, ASAP had to take that leak too. You saw that? Yeah. ASAP got Rihanna. It don't matter what he got. Okay. That's fair. Like, like same thing with Jay-Z. Like I can talk about how ugly Jay-Z is, but he's got Beyonce. So why does it matter? Okay. This is about to, this is getting yeah, a weird okay, territory. Okay, uh, okay, yeah, okay, I was like, it's like I'm getting into the uh the MPJ and that nigga I'm, talking like about. I'm saying, Corey, like, I, did, I did my studies, like you're saying, the all 22 was looked at. All I'm saying is, bro, do, insane, is there? Bro. Do we even know of a real surgery to like do that? Yes. I'm sure. I'm sure there's one out there now, bro. By now, I'm sure. No, yeah, Corey. Bro, I'm just saying, if it was a surgery, there are, you know how many bro, Corey, dudes Corey. could be getting that version. Of but it ain't like I'm sure. Like niggas, a lot of niggas probably can't afford dudes it. Dudes is horny. You tell me. That Let me Google it real quick. I think if women billionaires are, ain't horny, I feel like. If women can afford and go through everything they go through with the BBLs, I think mad niggas would have been doing that. They said it's called um. No, cause mad dudes ain't fucking getting pussy. They have like penis enlargement woman, surgery. No, no, but I'm saying like for a girl, you can get the BBL, you can get your fucking tits done, you can do your lips done, and you can just go out on the street and be like, I'm offering free head, free ass, free whatever, and dudes will just walk up. If a dude goes and does that, Corey just shows like pulls down his pants, I got that new dick. Come and get it. Who the who the fuck are so you? y'all want to hear what, what what happens during penis enlargement surgery? Uh, why not? We pod. All man. right. Go so ahead. they got liga mental mentolysis. What? They said the suspensory lig- ligament that connects your penis to your pubic bone is surgically cut. The flaccid penis hangs lower and seems longer. So it's a ligament that connects your penis to your pubic bone. That's cut, and so it hangs lower. Um. They said a penis enlargement using autologous fat. It removes fat using liposuction, then injects that fat into your penis to increase the circumference. That's crazy. Um, Penis enlargement using dermal fillers. A provider injects cosmetic fillers under the skin of your penis. Some of these are safer than others. Then there's the implantation of the penuma device. This consists of soft silicone. They place it under your skin. And then the surgical removal of the supra pubic fat pad. The fatty t- tissue surrounding the penis is surgically removed from men with a buried penis. This is weird territory. Buried, yeah. Buried you don't even got to say no more. <laughs> they said, I mean, I, I think the one that sounds the most like safe is like the, the, the fat one, one right? The- Oh, I thought you used the one. Oh, that, well, yeah, the one that cut the ligament is like, yeah, it sounds but, like that, that, but that seems like that's just like appearance, though. So that, a BBL? Well, the BBL is the fat one where you inject yeah. it and it gets increased the circumference. Oh, so yeah, you, but it's, that's like, like I feel like that's BBL. more if, like you want to chode. Like, I ain't trying to get a chode, G. But I think women, women prefer chodes. Women prefer, I feel like women prefer a certain I, girth. I, I, I yeah. Yeah. Room prefer like, girth as opposed like that's just long. Saying, like, I'm cool with like a pencil dick, but I'm saying like that's what I'm saying. If I if 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 I had I would much rather if, have length. Bro, than I'm girth. just saying if if like when I was born and God said you could create a dick, I'm creating a more girthy as opposed to long. 
this is crazy. This nigga is making a my player for dicks. I'm done. I'm yeah, just I'm saying, just if saying I had like, the option, Corey, that's all I'm saying. This nigga said he putting all his sliders on. <laughs> not all, not all, but probably like, you know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's. I think girth. Nah, I, I think you. Know, I think girth is just more valuable. It is, but it is. I think. I think if we're being. Um, Come on, let's be honest. If we're being transparent, dudes care more about the length of their penis for when women kind of focus more on the girl. Right, right. So a nigga thinking like, yeah, it's like kind of how like uh, when you ask women, like, do women prefer natural or BBL? And they like BBL and we like natural. Uh, it's like that for women. They like, yo, like he can have a little length. That's cool. But like, I need a nigga. She want to get filled up. Facts. That's all it is. I, at least say you don't want to chode. You were, you were thinking to chode now, huh? Maybe I'm, like, I'm not lacking in the girl situation. So like I said, if it's well, hanging lower, then me and Drake might need to go bar for bar, or dick for dick. You know what I'm saying? That's real. That's crazy. That's saying. And then ultimately, <laughs> only a certain amount of your penis goes inside of a woman anyway. Depends on a woman, to be honest. Yeah, it do. Some are more shallow. Some of these others, hoes but, deep. But ultimately, there's a max. And... Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And a max on her like, throat, though. Yeah, it's not like 16 inches is going to feel better than 12. Nah, like, nah. You don't get that. Yeah, I was like, only at least so there's a cap, your, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah, like, it's a cap. Only so much of your dick is going into a woman. Like, just depending on how much more you have. Like, you know what I mean? So, it's funny how, like, something that niggas value. don't really control is like a, it's like it's a standard a of thing. pride. Yeah. But that's what dudes be doing. They just hold shit over other dudes that is uncontrollable. That's true. Like, height. <laughs> If yeah. You say, like, shot, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, if that's what you want to bring up, sure. Fuck it. Um, Fuck all right. Uh, Joe Budden. Okay. The ish conversation where they talked about him intensely trying to have sex with his man's girl mm-hmm. or at past, past work. It wasn't his girl, just somebody that he fucked before. And Joe said that's not something he would ever do. However, he kissed one of his a friends, a girl that they dealt with in the past. But he said he wasn't trying to fuck her. He just kissed her. Right. Uh, this My problem with that is, well, I guess just how I operate with my, fan, my friend groups. Like, if any of my mans did anything, I'm cool on it. Like, you know what I mean? So, like, if Ale was kissing said girl, for the most part, like, I'm not really messing with said girl. Uh, and, and I know, like, it's, I mean, a kiss isn't, like, really all that. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? It, it's in some uh, social circles. It's like, oh, all she, he did was kiss her. Like, I'm about to fuck her. So, all like, right. that's cool. It just depends on <laughs> what the person feels about the girl or whatever. But, like, I just tend not to mess with girls that my homies have messed with. I just, I, I'm not even, I don't even want it. I don't even but want to do it. you said you're with okay them. with your homies messing with girls that you fuck with? No. Well, my homies don't do that. No, like, but I'm saying like that's what you said. You said you was okay if your homie got with a girl that you already like. Passed. No, I'm not. Oh, you're not. So you don't. Yeah, want I was like vice or... versa. Yeah, like so I just kind of like I think it's just kind of unspoken. But like as far as how me and my friends operate, we just don't even like deal with the same type of women. But um, to Joe's the Joe and Ish conversation. I just feel like he tried to like like oh man she was for the streets she was like a gutter rat but like why are you kissing somebody for the streets then why are you kissing a gutter rat so like that's kind of like but well, didn't really logic. care though his thing was he like, didn't really care he was like you brought it up for one and for two it's you say you don't do that it's principle you saying you don't do that and you did that and then Joe was like well I kissed her but I wasn't trying to fuck her and you think I'm trying to fuck her and it's like well nigga why are you making out with her. At two o'clock in the morning, like that and Joe did say, me. like not trying to fuck her. Joe said that if I wanted to fuck her, she'd be fucker. She's a gutter rat. Yeah, but I, I just feel like with Joe, Joe moves the goalpost, and Joe is also a gaslighter. Yeah, and yeah. Joe isn't one to really admit that he's wrong, especially like and maybe he wasn't trying to fuck her, bro. But like, what reason? If if I see a hoe, and I'm not really worried about a hoe, I'm not putting my mouth on a hoe. That's, that's absolutely. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not putting my mouth on a hoe. So not. like that's where I'm kind of finding the disconnect. So if I if I am putting my mouth on a hoe at two in the morning, I'm trying to fuck. Or maybe he it's it's kind of like I feel like with Joe, he can make things simple as like, oh, like, yeah, we end up at the same spot. I kissed him and I was like, yo, I'm tripping. 
Yeah, he was like, I kissed her and then like. Then I'm like, like yo, I'm like, what the fuck? And then I left out. Like, if I wanted to beat, I already kissed her. Like, you know, it don't take much after that. I didn't want to beat. Um, but I think, like I said, I think that's just dealing with. I think if it's your man's girl or ex girl, it's like you know. No, that's definitely off limits. If that's off limits. If it's just to- if it's just somebody that, or if it's somebody that you know your your boy had sex with, right? And it's like, for instance, like, um, let's say we use an example of L.A. I'm not gonna yeah. say who, but somebody had a girl around, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Let's say mm-hmm. he beat, right? Yeah. And all of a sudden, she's giving Ali vibes. I just say when in doubt, check in, bro. Yeah. Like, hey, are you cool with this? Yeah. I yeah. Think, I, or I or like if it's a sister, that. like a sister or like a family member or something, you always got to talk to your boy. Bro, just talk to him. Talk I to just think it's as simple as that, bro. Like, all you got to do is like, hey, bro, like, I'm trying to do this. Are you okay with that? And then if that nigga say he cool with it and he turned out not to be, that's on, that's on that's him. That's on him. That's on him. Because that's kind of like how it was in um Canaan, no? Yeah. Yeah, what she yeah, said. Yeah, uh, jukebox yeah. and Kana. Yeah, yeah, but like, it's funny how that came like full circle, because that's how it was in power. But Fifty ended up like having sex with like her girlfriend, and she was like, "Ah, it's, it's cool." But he like, it's like, are you really cool with it though? But it's like, funny he, enough, that's kind of how like my brother was born. Hold on. It wasn't my mom. What? So I I got a brother. I got a uh I got an older brother and an older sister, like on my dad's side. And okay. so like my dad was like mess I guess this this chick was basically shooting at him and she was previously messing with like one of his friends or whatever. He like asked him, like, hey, like, what's up with that? And he was like, Oh no, da 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 da. Like, I'm you good? And I guess oh, like, she okay. got she got pregnant, but like he wasn't good. I feel uh-huh. like <laughs> I feel like it ain't like just black yeah. and white. Like, yeah, I think time matters. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you was with that girl, just like I think it's a pride like, thing with some niggas, but, but they don't want to like, admit that they still care just, about a girl. You ain't got a lot of kick it, my nigga. Just be real. If you care That's what about I'm saying. her, if you care about her, say you care about yeah. her. I feel like if you were the dude that was hitting on your homies like ex, uh, you just have to check in with your dude. Like honestly, like well, you gotta be her because, like I said. Time, I think, does matter. Like, you know, some dudes get over girls faster than others, and then some don't. Yeah, it depends and on the girl. Like, shit, like, there's also some dudes that are like super prideful, or like, you know, are like, yo, if I'm my homies can't mess with my girl type shit, right? You know, like it's a betrayal of trust. So I think it's case by case by dudes, but I feel like at the minimum, you got to check in with your dude, be like, yo, I know you and so and so had a relationship in the past, but like, you mind if I? Yeah, at least go for it. And plus, uh, as the dude that's like asking your homie too, you're probably yeah. gonna know based off feels like how he feels about the other girl anyway. Like if there's bad, uh, like if there's bad vibes between him and his ex, or you know there's still something there, you as the like his best friend or you as his friend will probably know anyways. Here's something that happened to me before. Go ahead. It was a situation <laughs> where um, uh, it was a shorty that I used to mess with. You know what I'm saying? So I still was kind of feeling a little bit. You know, I was like, you know, that's like, it was like, you know, it, it was kind of understood. Like, that was, you know, whatever. But then it was a point where she was around, around one of the homies, you know? And then he said, yo, you cool with, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, and I'll be honest, I wasn't cool with it, right? But a part of me was like, I'm trying to see if she going to go. Because I want to try to see the, the type of girl she is, the type of woman she right. is. Because, like I said, I was at a point where it's like, I don't know, maybe I'm feeling, maybe I'm not. But if like, if you go, then that solidifies it. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, nah, straight, blah, 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 blah. But I was like, low key, like, nah. He was low key, jealous like a hoe. That nigga was hurt. Nah, I wasn't. I, nah, I, I, bro, but the thing is, it wasn't like my. I mean, you was hoping for her to say no. So right, you, right. That nigga right. was Kermit. That was saying right. it wasn't her. No, I wasn't. Not no. to make light of no. it, but that nigga was Kermit against the glass when it was raining. No, nah, listen, listen, just, listen. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Let me just ask you, like, are you still, were you homie with dude after, like? Yeah. Okay. But but the thing is, she didn't go. Uh. She didn't oh, go. Oh, so that was your way of having her pump reject face. him. That was with the Carmelo pump face. That was basically. Yeah, it was like his way. <laughs> it of happened like, to me. 
it was like, I'm, I'm oh, telling the situation I that I was in. Her. He was yeah. like, I care about her, but right. I got, I'm going to let her reject him instead. Hey, of she got the choice. Right. She got the choice. But no, he came to me and he said, like, yo, how you, hey, do your thing. And she's hey, like, nah, 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 I'm not. And she came back and was like, yo, you know, you're, I'm like, oh, I ain't know that. Yeah, I'm Takashi. I'm stupid. But, I'm it, but it told me, but it told me, like, it told me something, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. All right. I see you. But I think that's that's kind of the thing where, like, at the end, and bro, because at the end of the day, if she want to fuck somebody else, she's going to fuck somebody else. Though. Yeah, she's going to fuck a nigga, she's going to fuck him. At the end of the day. So it's just, you can't control it either way. And so it's just, you know, sometimes you, you kind of, niggas can kind of use the homie to kind of check the temperature a little bit. And, you know, I, I understand it, but I think how Joe was doing it, it was definitely gaslighting and trying to make it seem like, bro, you tripping. Like, you, you believe yeah, in this shit. Yeah, I'm not shit. rocking, bro. And like, then, nah, even nah. in that conversation, he tried to, he was yelling. And then he was calling Ish emotional. Emotional, like, yeah. yeah. Joe, he Joe like, threw his, 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 his Joe, headphones. Like, well, Joe was the one that was starting to yell for him. Yeah, yeah. he and threw his he was headphones. Like, Yo, this nigga's acting light skinned as the light skinned nigga yelling. It's crazy. Yeah, the it's crazy. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. I feel like Joe's one of those type of people that's like super contradictory. You know, like he uh, he's going to hold people around him to his standard. But when they push it to his face, it's like, ah, well, you know. Uh, this this me. and that or you know that's what i'm getting off of even though i like i don't like i said i don't really be watching the podcast a nigga's a gaslighter and a manipulator and so, some might even argue somewhat of a narcissist <laughs> yeah yeah um i think with joe but that's what makes the podcast interesting i think uh him being a bit aloof a bit narcissistic a bit selfish a bit pompous, a bit arrogant. That makes Even him a bit Joe. Sensitive. Right, a and bit then, sensitive. Um, yeah. Because people aren't like that, right? So it's like, I'm not going to watch a podcast with niggas that's boring. And just too cool for And just, cool you know what I'm saying? Time. So it's like, I think that dynamic is what makes Joe, but that dynamic is what kind of breaks Joe's relationships because it's only so much you can take of that, right? Because logically, that's some bullshit. Like how you treat people and how you act, that's like that's some bullshit, bro. You know you're wrong. So, but I think that's what makes the podcast interesting. So it's a catch twenty two. So it's almost like Joe has to somewhat provide a revolving door or has the perfect people around him that can take that type of shit. Because how much of that would you be able to take? With me bro. constantly gaslighting you, constantly doing shit that that that's probably a little fucked up, but then telling you, yo, it's just it's just we just potting. What you talking about? I think it just depends on your relationship. And to our point earlier, like you can tell they got to be strong. In. They got to yeah. be strong. You got to be strong. You only, like it's not a type of behavior that you would tolerate and it's not healthy or the healthiest, but like niggas go through shit like that all day, every day with their childhood friends. So I feel it. Yeah. It's one of those. It's one of those. But again, that's what makes the Joe Bun Joe Bun podcast interesting. Cause that nigga, that nigga is, that nigga got issues. Um, we moved away from it, but a, uh, Kanye is in the news again. Um, Did you? What's his? Uh, is his actual? Uh, is his album actually dropped or? I believe it is. Yeah, him and yeah, Kyle, yeah it's, it's already out. Yeah, I didn't listen, listen to it. To it? I, listen I listened to, it. to like the first song. Uh, I just haven't really had time to, bro. To yeah, I didn't listen to it. I, I it, saw uh, like a little clip of you know that uh, bald white dude I think with like a mustache Anthony Fantanzo or something. Uh, yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. I, I didn't see the clip. I just saw like it was a picture and people were talking about it. I mean, I think uh, I don't know how credible he is, like, but I think a lot of people listen to him for his a lot music. of people do listen for music. Yeah. Yep. But I'm saying like he said it was like it was complete dog shit. And not I'm not gonna lie off the little clip that I heard of like I think it was called a uh, carnival. <laughs> Yo, that shit was like. At this point, I really feel like he's uh, he's like in his Apple phase. Like you remember when uh, Apple was like just putting out the iPhone six and the iPhone six S and then the iPhone six color, like just basically the same old bullshit, or just like basically throwing out any bullshit and seeing like if people will buy it. Yeah, yeah. That's I what, mean, that's what he's on right now. Like I feel like he's in his iphone 6c phase where it's like he's just throwing in whatever bullshit he can possibly fucking find to make money and because he has like this cult-like following they're gonna buy it no matter what or i mean not buy it but stream it yeah i think for kanye it's he's very arrogant right and he feels like yo no matter what i put out people are gonna mess with it and i think he's kind of 
been humbled a little bit because everybody's not just reacting to everything he does anymore. Um, and so, I don't know. I feel like I've been off Kanye in regards to music for a while. And like, if something catches my ear, cool. But I think for music in general, it's just, it's been off. But with Kanye specifically, it's, I think I'm more tuned into the antics, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm not, I'm I mean, not really. I didn't, think, I didn't <laughs> like. I'm not. I don't think. I'm not like the. Uh, just your what's called like these Twitter trolls who feel like Kanye is just like completely falling off. Like I like Donda. I think that's his most. Uh, the album. You know, yeah, uh, I think it was Donda. Really before this. I think. Yeah. It's either. I was like, nigga, you know what Donda is. Yeah, I just didn't know if it was the most previous fucking album. My bad, Corey. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But anyway, I thought like his. I thought Donda was good. So it's not like people aren't interested in his music, or it's not like. The only people that follow him now are just like for troll reasons. right like but the thing is kanye t- kanye pushes the line it's kind of like with like say we put out a, a a grove episode right and we're just talking about the nfl the entire episode <laughs> nick is gonna be no, like no 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 no. it'd be like uh, what he did with that one song poopity scoop like, imagine we imagine we did an entire grove episode and it was we were just saying poopity scoop no, but the thing is, it's still a song. I'm talking about like he's been he putting out bullshit. Like for for I think for a lot of people, if they expect to grow over, they're like, yo, this is this ain't an NFL podcast, but yeah. like, what we do it, you know. But it's like kind of like Nick, you gonna listen to it anyway? What are you talking about? So I think the problem is Kanye probably, and it's it's not a problem. Kanye, and I believe in it. He's overconfident, and I think there's nothing wrong with being overconfident, but it it, it rubs most people the wrong way because of how how he goes about things and how arrogant he is right which I to be honest arrogant to i would be but shouldn't he be if if i sneezed and it went platinum and come everything. on shouldn't he no be though what i do it, i literally cut holes in t-shirts and sold it to you niggas come on bro y'all, like, y'all make like that's why that's audience. why for niggas that y'all niggas made this y'all made me and y'all you're the reason why me. he's this confident you're the like, reason why Literally, bro, I, he could literally put out a whole album of whoop diddy scoops like Al- it's like, still gonna like, sell Al- 100k and it's gonna still sell and he could tour it because it's Kanye, Kanye that, and, and so at this point. and so that goes back to Kanye's character which is like what do you do with the power and Kanye already told you he already said it he no said, one man God. should have all this power <laughs> he referred to himself as a guy he said it he, I already told you what I am a god yeah Kanye has told people black. who he is over and over again. Nigga ever. I'm a black superhero. That's what he really means. Which he that is. That Let's be honest. He is. How yeah, niggas Kanye, treat Kanye. him, that's how That's how he seems, a superhero. I mean, to be fair, like, if you look at it from his perspective, like, it kind of makes sense the way that he acts. Like, you, may, bro, if you treat he, me a certain way, he, I'm, hey, how, how am I supposed to react to that? No, I'm not even talking about, like, the way that people treat him. Like, people obviously treat him like a like a god but mm. it's like the fact that he did previously to these antics like the one thing remember like when six nine was like the biggest shit in the fucking world right yeah and he was just the hottest fuck and what even the songs that he was dropping was kind of bullshit but they would still like hit huge numbers, so hit, right? yeah yeah and the reason why he kind of died off was because he didn't really have nothing no foundation right like when all the fucking uh Antics all the hype went away the antics yeah, exactly he had no foundation kanye is the opposite it's like you look at what this guy was before the antics and it's like no he was the top of his class and everything he was like what patrick mahomes is doing in the nfl right now right he's so one of those like, <clears throat> it makes sense to see him like be so arrogant because like not every single superhero like you know you look at fucking the boys like not every superhero ideally is gonna be good you know what i'm saying yeah he's like yo this is just this, this is this yeah, yeah exactly like kanye is one of them characters from the boys, like, yeah, he got it all. And you can't deny that he got it all because he yeah. got the accolades. But he's, like, probably not, you know. He drunk with the power now. Exactly. He drunk. Yeah. Like, he, and he it, bro, like, he bro, like, literally, if I just, I just think whenever you get to the point to where, like, no matter what you do, you're going to succeed. Um, he, 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 just recently, he spent $7 million to get, um, uh, just a commercial during the Super Bowl. Yeah, and he made the oh, commercial. And he didn't do nothing else. He didn't promote nothing else. And like his stuff grossed over like two hundred something million. And like they was like, yeah, like your advertisement. Th- everything he do works. 
like it, it just works bro so like whenever you do that and it's like no matter what i do if i'm attached to it niggas are gonna buy it they gonna they gonna be on my dick yeah i'm gonna start acting like that too because like y'all are, y'all are so stupid like i'm not it ain't even about me no more i mean i can be all this because y'all are just dumb like y'all are y'all he are said he made hate. taylor swift more famous he did to us to niggas like Taylor Swift was already Taylor Swift, but I did I I can honestly say I didn't know who Taylor Swift was until he did that to her. Yeah, I didn't know. I mean, really? I had heard of Taylor Swift, yeah. but like I wasn't. I, mean, I feel like Taylor Swift is so I didn't damn know. popular where it's like, well, uh, bro, like it's like you asking me. Oh, I ain't never heard of. Beyonce I would say this. Jay Z. I would say this. I don't bigger. know. I don't know if he he made her more famous by making her more consolable. Consolable, where it's like. She, I think people started to embrace her a lot more because they felt like she was bullied by Kanye said, West. Oh my gosh, but now oh, she's a giving, bitch. They the and they part. like, oh. Yes, yes. And so it's like, yo, she. I think from that point forward, she was kind of viewed more as America's sweetheart. Where it's like, yo, look at the 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 the, the small white girl that was the bullied by the black big man. black man who tried to take away. And it's just like, see, told you about those niggers. And so I think with <laughs> Kanye and Taylor Swift, it was a situation <laughs> where yeah, like, that's a I think dog. I think they both kind of got popular, but Taylor Swift kind of took off for like just all of America. Yeah, Taylor Swift is is her, but like she ain't Beyonce. You know what I mean, and Beyonce. I think I don't know. She might be bigger than Beyonce at this like, point. Yeah, the, she's the people white that, people's Beyonce, but she's not. I'm saying like she's Beyonce to white people, but she bro, can never Corey. Be but haven't we always said like that's like a cheat code technically? Like you know, what being I'm saying? white. There's, Yes. Yeah. So, like, how can you not say that she's? How can you say that Beyonce is bigger than her? Wait, if y'all, Beyonce if y'all had the, Beyonce. if y'all had the opportunity to be white, like, if you, if like you could, I if, would not. You would not. That's a crazy question. Why? What? Like, that's completely like changing your life up, G. Like, that ain't just a no. I'm just talking about like you just white. Well, like, what kind of white guy? Can I get some more context? Like, in my Zach Efron. Over who? Huh? Like you gotta give me somebody. Like I gotta choose. Like if you're giving me somebody, like okay, would I rather be Zach Efron or would I? Nah, I'm, I'm talking about like his complexion. Oh, just like I'm myself, but now I look like Zach Efron's complexion. Hell, yeah, no, and you right? get more white features. I mean, I'm already white as shit. Like my skin, like my skin is but, pale, even though yeah, I'm not but white like white features. Man. You get the blonde hair. You get the, the blonde hair. Eyes, the blo- the blue eyes. Yeah. The, hair. the credit score. Okay, okay, let me ask a better question. Would your life be any different if you're white? Yeah, of course. What would be different, yes. Corey? What do you think would be different? Not, like the access that you have, the perception, like tell, you're every Tell me like, one you know, tell me one situation you think in your life if you were white, it would be different for you. Uh, rapping. If I if I put out the same shit now as a white man, they'd be like, "Yo, this nigga hard." <laughs> really? You don't think they would chill? You'd be like, yo, why he culture vulture? Yeah, no, why are you saying like, nigga? I know it's funny, but they'd be like, no. They'd be like, nah, cuz I ain't. Like, no, yeah. they would not, Corey. You'd be like, you'd be like, y'all, you be like Mabu? Bro, li- uh, bro. I missed her. Take your bitch. No, I'd be. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> bro, if I, I was white, you bro, up. I name name I that that. If I was white, I'd be the next. <laughs> <bro>. <laughs> This is so stupid. What'd you say? I said if I was white, I'd be Jack Harlow. You think you'd be Jack Harlow? Yeah. Hmm. No, I'm I'm not talking about look. I'm talking about music wise. Like they just play. Oh, this is a cool like white dude, and he from Dallas. Like that's what's up. Like he got he got a little sauce, and like they would play more on, and then it, from there it would just be how I look. And then now see you the got, thing is like you got I, the black women that's like oh dang like I would kind of fuck with him. He's cool. And then now you got the so you think like, you'd oh, be white with like black tendencies? Yeah. Why because not? because of where you grew up. Yeah. My thing is um, I wonder. Do you think it's any difficulties to being white? Uh, dealing with black people. Dealing with niggas. Yeah. Because I think it's a thing, right? Like, say I'm like a regular white person, right? And I'm like, no racist bone in my body. Then I just say something I'm, like... I'm a really stand-up guy. Bro, I'm a like, stand-up nah. guy. And then somebody's like, yeah, it's because I'm black, isn't it? I'm like, this I'm like, nigga. Don't get your black ass on, <laughs> nigga. No, bro. If you, even if you're saying like, 
man, if you don't get your black ass on, like that's <laughs> crazy coming from white. <laughs> but you just call me racist for no reason. Yeah, I was like, and a lot of niggas do do that. I hate when niggas lean into yo, you're doing it because I'm black. I think there's a lot of racist things out here. Don't get me wrong, but for sure. I hate when it's like, nah, that wasn't it, bro. That like, wasn't racist, my nigga. You just ignorant. You just, you just, <laughs> you you just, just ignorant. Hear loud and obnoxious, my nigga. Like nobody, <laughs> want, I didn't want to hear that shit either. <laughs> All right. You just said it first. I remember I was in the grocery store, my nigga, and somebody had like they had music on speakerphone. Right. I hate when people do that when they talk uh, on speaker or listen to music loud on speaker I'm in like, a public man, space. I'm like, what are you public. doing, bro? So it, then bro. the manager came over, white dude. He was like, yo, wait, that, how old was this? Was this person like young or twenty no, some? Twenty some? Grown? Twenty some in oh, the twenties? I've seen a girl be on the speakerphone having a loud conversation walking through Target. I'll, I'll, yeah, yo, yeah. I'm not trying. Yo, I, this, yo, just it, we can put this on ignorance, but like, can you tell me what kind of? ethnicity this person was she black okay because i was gonna say i don't go through these uh situations it was niggas ever, bro ever it was some because you know i live in a state where it's like 99 percent white it was yeah. niggas bro it, shorty yes, shorty was listening to drake but it was like playing out loud it was playing it out loud and it was like dirty drake you know what i'm saying so i'm just like i'm vibing you know what i'm saying i'm fucking with it but it's like it's kids right, right, right. here what are you doing bro yeah, I'm just like, it was when the new album came out. It was just, it was one of those songs where Drake is like cursing. I'm like, come on, bro. Like, you, like, it's just, it's just ignorant. It's just ignorant as hell. So it, it's like, just, bro. I think it's just unnecessary. And like, you have to go more out of your way to do that and inconvenience people than like just to be a regular person in this moment. Bro, you in the store, bro. Put on some headphones or wait till you get in the fucking car. Like, you can talk. I don't care, bro. If you're in Target or whatever, or like, Target in this instance, bro. There's nothing wrong with talking on the phone while you're in the store. Um, just don't not be on, on speaker, the phone though. when you're ringing on, but like on speaker, bro. That's on speaker's nuts. crazy. On speaker, I understand like nuts. a real quick, like if you're on speaker, like hey, what do you need? And they're like, oh, yeah. da, da, da. you know what I'm saying? But Man, if you like, you no, know, like full blown, a uh, full blown conversation, ignorant, out of hour, ignorant like, niggas. It's just like, bro, yeah. what are you doing? That should be a rule, to be honest. It should be a rule where you shouldn't be able to do that. Bro, like I would say this, like even black people can't stand black people or certain type of black people sometimes or just certain niggas things. be embarrassing. We can say it. Bro, I'd be like, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> niggas be embarrassing. And I'd be just like, yeah. come on, bro. I mean, like, and that's my would... people. And I can say that about my people, but it's like sometimes niggas be tripping, bro. And I'd be like, bro, what are y'all on? Facts. Facts. We got we got to dip out, but um, real quick, we can run through these topics. Do y'all see the Monique and Shay Shay? Shay Shannon yeah. Sharp thing? Well, I saw clips. I had to see clips. Tell me who Monique is? Like, why is she a big deal? So Monique, <laughs> uh, she's a comedian, and she had a uh, she had a she's an actor, show actress called a, called a she's a comedian turned actress, and she had a show called The Parkers, which was pretty. Yeah, the Parkers. Oh, yeah, I don't know nothing about Monique. But and she's on Soul like, Plane. You know, she was on that. Bro, like Monique, she's an actor. She's an actor, and she's a comedian. Um. And so I, I didn't see the entire thing. I was like, after the Cat Williams thing, I didn't even watch all the Cat Williams interview. I was like, I'm not about to sit through this because yeah. I feel like it's just, it's about to be just more ignorant shit and niggas just going at each other. And pretty much that's what it was. I mean, I think my problem with, not my problem or like the the thing that I feel with Monique that I think could be, that rubs me the wrong way is, it's like, it's when somebody's like, yo man, that's my man, but he a bitch. Yeah, you talking where, about the shit you were saying about Kevin? Yeah, where it's like, that's my like, brother. I love I him. To him. Yeah. He did this for my family. Da 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 da. Now, with that being said, bo- blah 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 blah. Yeah, blah. It, it, it's yeah. like, bro, if you gonna go at somebody, it's like she tries to go the route of, oh, I'm doing this out of love. I love you for real. It's just, I'm just like, bro, like, as as a man, as a person, I can't take that well because it's. It's almost like you're trying to manipulate me in a way. Like, it feels manipulative a little bit, where it's just like, nah, I love him. He's a beautiful black man, has a beautiful family. This is me, auntie, talking you out of love, but you ain't a real nigga. <laughs> I'm like, what? Like, how am I supposed to take that? Am I supposed to just like be like, oh, well, you know? And so it just, I think Monique just rubs things the wrong way. I don't even know if she'd be wrong about the situations where like, I don't oh, think this person so did this. I think it's just a point to where people just tie don't want to deal her. with her. They, they, they just, I think honestly, bro, she could be telling the truth. 
I don't think she's coming on these platforms and lying. But I think it's at a point to where like people have heard these stories so many times that the people involved, yeah. the celebrity, celebrity, they just like, bro, we don't care. But I think it's also like, you know, if somebody that uh, if somebody come over your house, right, mm-hmm. and there's a person that if there's water on the ground and they slip, they're gonna be like, you are gonna have to pay me some money. I'm like, I, I don't want you in my house, yo. What? Nah, that's real. Where I'm talking like where Monique, where I think she would take advantage of every loophole or everything. That could possibly happen. And she make it a, make it a thing. Everything. And so I think to avoid possibly that happening, I probably wouldn't work with Monique. I feel like that. that's kind of like a corporate stance. I don't I wouldn't say I wouldn't work with her. I probably wouldn't. I I one thing, this is what I would say though. Like it's, it's, it's just it's toxic. Uh, I Regar- because depends. here's my thing. I think regardless of it's about it's not about if it's true or not, right? Which is, I think that's what Monique, Monique makes it about. Where like, that's valid. But if it's true or not, it can be handled differently if it's true or not, right? Because let's be honest, in the court of public opinion, what is going to change? Right, that's true. Right? But if it's something in regards to litigation, let's go to court. We can handle this privately. But if every situation, you're going on a platform, you go, I'm like, bro. I'm not, I'm, sh- I'm not, that nigga's radioactive. I'm I'm sure you're a sweet lady, but it's just I'm not I, I don't want to take that risk. I'm cool. I'm cool. Yeah. I'll about I, I I love you from afar. It's just because it's risky. It's risky. One thing I will say is aside from the um the Monique situation, I don't like that after uh Cat Williams set the tone that like Club Shay Shay is starting to become a place where everybody's just going to just air, air out this shit them. out. Yeah, and it's like I like that he did get Usher in there, and Usher seemed really well coached and professional. I, what I didn't really care for, as far as like the Usher interview, is like even though Usher is cool, I just felt like it was kind of like it wasn't. It just seemed like very um, coached. Yeah, it, yeah, it just seemed very like he's very well coached and like me. I should have been doing this for decades. Yeah, he's he's very he's not well going to slip up. So like he was just in there like very professional. Uh, Twenty one Savage, I haven't finished that one, but like as far as Monique though, it was like she was on her cat two point oh, and I I yeah. just don't want Shay, Club Shay Shay to uh turn into that. I think my thing you got to know the interview right, and so I think for Omar niggas like Omarion Usher, really pr- like people that you're not gonna get a soundbite out of. You know what I'm saying? Those interviews are gonna go how you expect them to go. But people like the wild cards, like Cat, like Monique, um, uh, who else is kind of like a wild card? We don't know what they're gonna say. I think to an extent, Jamie Foxx, where they're gonna give you something that you can put out there that like is more enticing. Yeah. Which which kind of brings me to the last thing I wanted to talk about Young Thug real quick, but okay. earlier, but it's like, um, where his shit got leaked. Do y'all see it? Her his call with his girl. No, I did uh, not. Yeah, it's like a, a jail call with his girl got leaked. Um. Where basically he was talking about, you know, it's, it's, it, it felt like a very somewhat immature conversation because they were just, he was like, yo, you got the, you got the bands, you got a necklace, you got a, you got a bracelet. She's like, oh, I got him. I love you. She's like, daddy, am I your baby? Grown ass woman, right? And all this Is shit. This the same le- girl that you've been with? Like, yeah, Mariah the, scientist. Mariah the Scientist. Yeah. And that, yeah. and everybody's like, this shit funny. But like, how do you leak a personal call like this? Like, how does this get out? And some people are like, well, I mean, he's a, he's a he's a criminal, so why does it matter? Some people are like, yeah, but criminals have rights too, and it's just like, we all stand on that. Is it like it it is what it is, or like, should shit like that not leak? Well, I feel like, um, well, um, everybody knows that prison phone calls are recorded. So regardless if it leaks or it don't leak, somebody listening to the hell to monitor what they talking about. Um, but I think I do uh, think that America has a uh, we have a habit um, as an institution and as a system of taking rights away from criminals, i.e. voting, i.e. whatever. And like if we just assume or we treat criminals or people who have done things or just people who are in jail or who have committed crimes like they don't have rights because I was like, oh, well, nigga, you a thief or nigga, you a murderer. Like, who gives a fuck? And I don't I don't necessarily agree with that. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think. I think people even 
if they're classified a certain way, they should have rights, right? And they should have say. Um, I do think it should be controlled. However, something like your private calls should definitely not leak. But no I, way. I mean, no. Nah, no way. Nah, leaking, like, what if they was having nah, fun? Sure, but it's like, like leaking is crazy. Earlier, like, you know, uh, as the caller and the callee that. The you know, it's being recorded, recorded right? Yeah, but the yeah. public shouldn't have access to that. I was like, what? Like, I, that should be a lawsuit. Like, why are we listening to that? And like, he's, a, of course, he's a public figure. Mm -hmm. But. No way. Like, we don't even need to. We don't, we don't need, need that. that. We don't need to leak that. That that's something that shouldn't be leaked at all. I was yeah, like, like, that's what crazy. If he, what if they was like having phone sex or some shit? Like, all that's out there. Yeah, like that's crazy. I'm like, who leaked this? So, somebody need to get fired. Yeah, she. So she's getting kind of. Well, their relationship is getting. You know, it's being dissected. Like, oh, they don't have any chemistry. They don't got nothing to talk about. I'm like, think about how many, how much shit they've talked about over the, the time he's been in there. It's like, yeah, like the niggas in, and he might not get out. Like, you know, at this point, they just trying to just, just, just stay in contact. Yeah, like, and think about it. Like, he in jail. Like, what's what's going, what's new in jail? Like, he's like, what am I? You know what I'm saying? It's, like, oh, what you yeah, do today? Did you have fun? Nigga got, stabbed up, nigga got stabbed up today. Like, I woke like, up. What ate, to say? So I she probably already know the vibe. So she came in on some like, yo, I love you, I miss you. Like, that's that's her whole shit. You know what I'm saying? Because she's trying to, he's obviously trying to cheer him up. They're like, ah, oh, they got no chemistry. Yeah, like, all they just, a nigga need is, is like, especially in those times, yeah. you don't even know you're getting out. You need support. You need love. That's like, it. And like the people who are talking like that, have y'all, how many loved ones have y'all had in prison? And then like, how long were they in prison? You yeah. know what I mean? Like, but a lot of people talk about situations that they that can't they really, they've never been in yeah. and they've never experienced, but they're experts in. You know what I'm saying? It, a lot of people do that where it's just, it's, it's it's ignorance, but I thought that was that was crazy. And the last thing I want us to talk about um, was the Bobby Altoff with um, Ryan Garcia or with somebody else. Nah, bro. Damn, I wish I'd sent y'all the clip with Kiki Palmer. Well, it was about a, her being a plant. Her with Kiki Palmer, but it was like uh, it was a video that leaked. We recorded a video, and she was talking about because you know she's she's I believe she's divorced now. Um, or she's going through a divorce. Yeah. It's a video that leaked where she said, my husband is getting mad because he says I'm spending too much money. And she basically said, husband, you need to make more money then. Like, and she said, I just booked a trip with me and my daughter to go on a, um, go on a resort. I hope my husband likes the 8K that's on his credit card now. And I'm like. Bitch, what? This bitch is like evil, evil. Where it was, bro. I was like, what? It, so, it kind of reminds me of uh the what's it, Tony Snell? Ah, this yeah, one, yeah, the Tony Snell like, shit. This nigga's not even an NBA, and like she's flashing. She's going she crazy. Spent, she spent five hundred grand in like twenty four yeah. minutes. And yeah, like, bitch. Like, what, but, did you dribble a ball? Like, what? But my you, thing, and that was while he was trying to lobby to be signed to an NBA yeah, team, so he can get I'm the benefits, like, the lifetime benefits for his autistic children. Leave that hole. And but, it's like you're trying to get benefits for your autistic children, but your wife is spending five hundred. Blowing it. Blowing like, it. Just I mean, blowing yeah. it. Wait, like, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, real quick though, Corey. Like his wife, is he cool with like his wife doing that? Because I've seen like a simple or a similar situation with uh, the tight end for the Saints, uh, Johnson. Ron Johnson? Johnson, yeah, where his like wife's got a TikTok and she's like, I guess calling her the fans or the people in the comments are calling her the same shit. Where it's like a gold digger, all she does is spend his money because she's like flaunting around, you know, you know, expensive fucking uh, items. So, but the thing with that situation is, or the reason why people got off her ass or whatever, it cooled down, is because apparently he's he's cool with that. Like she can spend the money. So he's not I cool with know. that. Is Tony Snell the same way? Like, he's not cool with that. Juwan Johnson ain't made that much money in his fucking career. He's not cool. I, with that. Yeah, I know. I know Juwan Johnson ain't made that much money, but I'm saying like. But the thing that, is, like he, in he, that he, video, she said like my husband don't care about the. He's just showing her you not you not unified front. You gotta you gotta be unified, bro. Yeah. He's lobbying to yeah. get benefits for. Oh, so you saying in the career. background like? Yeah, you you gotta you gotta basic bro. You gotta at this point go get a Camry. You know what I'm saying? Record TikToks in a Camry. I'm talking about you got to look like you're struggling, right? You got to, I'm not saying scam niggas, but you got to make, you can't make it seem like, bro, we don't really need y'all niggas money, but like, if y'all niggas give us money, it's cool. 
he there trying to lobby for this shit, and people are like, yo, we'll we'll do a GoFundMe. I'm not all this different shit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I know what you're talking about. You know what I'm, what I'm saying? It's like so y'all on different. If bro, if at the end of the day, if she can spend 500 bands and it, like just like that, you don't need no benefits for your artistic kids. Right, right. right you got right. it. You got it, bro. You and people now everybody's pulling up his fi- pulling up his finances, bro. You made 50 million over your career. Where's the bread? Which you know he really didn't make 50 million because. We know how taxes and agents and all this different shit, that shit probably cut in half. So let's say he made 20 mil, but at the end of the day, he made 20 million. You know what I'm saying? Do you really need the benefits from the NBA? And honestly, you'd probably be still be in the NBA if you didn't put up zero, 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 zero. If he wasn't getting cardio out there. If he wasn't just out there running around. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you, you kind of, part of the reason why, when you appeal to people, you lose people when it seems like you're just fucking with people now. Like you don't really need it. You just want it. And so I it's think with Tony Snell, it's, like, uh, extra. it's extra. You don't need it. You blowing 500 bands I mean, I in a day. Re- I do remember like uh, inside the NBA actually had that fucking clip of Charles Barkley basically playing for Tony Snell. Yes. I don't, know, I don't know if that's before or after the video or the picture. Of I think it was during. The, okay. But yeah. I'm saying like that actually made me like look at it where it was like, bro, because I, I, I double take it. Originally, I was like, yeah, let's. uh. Let's get him the 10 years so we can pay for that. Right. I, but that's what I thought. Like, I was like, just give him the 10 years. Just somebody sign him real quick. Yeah, but the exactly. thing is, it's, here's the thing. They couldn't sign him to like a 10-day contract. They would he have to sign him. Games. Right. Right. He got to be there for a certain amount of games. And it's like for a team to do that, it's like that's actually – that's a lot of – that's roster construction. You, you that's, it's, it's a lot that you'd have to do as opposed to a 10-day contract. Anybody can do that. Yeah, but like exactly. signing somebody and really getting rid of a player that's like maybe you you got players on the bench that you think could have a lot of potential. I mean, and then I, I'm sure for a lot of GMs after seeing that they're like fuck out of here, yeah. ain't doing that shit. No, you that. good? You so know what I'm saying? That's exactly, you're saying so like Bobby or Bobby's husband or Bobby did that to her husband is what you're saying? Yeah, she did that to her husband. Oh, but I think AK. But why is she doing that to her husband if it's the opposite? So like in Tony Snell's case. His wife is spending her, her, his money, but in this case, we don't know about Bobby's husband. No, but this is this is before she is. got big, though. They saying, oh, okay. this is before that. So this is when the husband was. I guess she was a stay at home mom. Yeah, and he's like, "Yo, you going too crazy?" And she's like, "I'm gonna run up eight k on the credit card now." What? And this goes back to just how people talk about her interviews. How sometimes they come across as a bit uh, mean spirited. Where like yeah. I'm not sure if y'all saw the Offset interview, where she kind of. She tried to make, she tried to frame it as, oh, you Offset, I guess. I don't know who you are, though. Yeah, yeah. And then Offset, like, fucking He's had, like, like nope. basic and check. Yeah. Right, flag on the play. And since then, I mean, though. I don't, I don't, I don't understand her level or, like, not level, her style of interviewing at all. Like, I, it's supposed to be this, like. Dry pretty humor. Sure it's supposed to be, yeah, dry humor, satire, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But it's, like, to me. I guess that's maybe a credit to her that she plays it so well that she does actually come off as a real bitch. But it's, like. Yo, like this doesn't really work based off like how you got your, you know, uh, comeuppance. Like she kind of blew up like instantly, you know, it wasn't like she was known for doing this and then she kind of like, you know, made a name for herself. It's kind of like she did one interview and she instantly blew up. Yeah, it's, it's, I think people are always fascinated by things they don't really understand or just things are not common. I think she had an uncommon personality and people were drawn to that. Right. And I think that's like when things stand out, people are like, yo, why is why why is she so different? Why is this? And then when you realize it's kind of an act, you lose people. And I think she lost a lot of people when we saw her on another interview and it was like she was acting normal as shit. When she was talking to Jessica Alba, I think So you're saying she needed to be a bitch twenty four seven. Like that's how to be her embodied. Gotta be you gotta embody that character. Every time Don't every be a interview. bitch to the niggas nope. and then be cool, com- cool and collected. When it's the white actresses people. and shit. Because now it looks like you just basically bitch somebody on your podcast. That's what you were doing. Facts. Oh, okay. oh I don't know. T- Tiger, who are you? Like, yeah, who are you? Uh, he said he didn't know Drake music. Come on, bro. Come on. Like, it's, and so at first it's like, oh, ha ha, he he. And when you see she's just doing it to black niggas, and you, saw, you see her with Jessica Alba, it's like, bitch. You normal now? What? What happened? And that's why, oh, I, like my, that's why I like my offset was like. I thought you were saying that. like she was normal in the fucking uh, when the cameras was off. I didn't know she was being normal in like a legitimate 
other episode. Oh, every time it was niggas, bro, there's always some extra. Sh- like she went to a Drake concert, right? I guess her and her friends. Her friends all having a good time. She's just standing around, arms folded. Like I guess it's just kind of whack. Cameras. It could be, but it's it, it it plays into the character of I don't know what these niggas be on, and I don't really care what these niggas be on. And so, then as niggas, we'd be like, so why are you interviewing us? Why are you interviewing me? Our, and then she, she tried to play it like, oh, I don't I don't know. Like, you reach out to me. Was like, no, and that's, that's also it's like, that's cap? What the hell? He said, he said, hold on. He's a flag on the play. We ain't gonna do that. C A P. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, and that's and he tried to flame time. he nah, he definitely flamed the fuck out of her because he, ever since that interview, she's actually cared about her appearance. Super flamed her. Yeah, which is, and now it's like, uh, she's still popping, right? But it's not nearly to the same degree. And then even Marco and came out and talked. No, to, niggas. no, no niggas. No niggas. Marco came out and talked about like why he stopped fucking with her because they were technically on tour for a while. He said. Isn't he the one that put her on low key? Low key. He said um, it went from, oh, she just really doesn't know as to, oh, she knows. She just doesn't care. So he's like, oh, I can't mess with that. Cause now you're just like really trying to shit on niggas. And so, you know, I mean, bro, anybody with the internet, we going somebody is going to go be, be famous next week. Out the blue. It just happens, right? It's going to be famous next week just for some random shit. Um, but it's like, at the end of the day, she's just trying to make some money and I get it, but it's just, you can't be, she's, it, it's kind of like, it's the, it's, it's the most insane version of, of culture vulturing. Like, it's like an insane, just in-your-face version of, like, I don't really care about y'all niggas, but I'm going to use it clout to get views and get the interviews I really want. It's insane. But, you know, we, niggas make anybody famous. Like, every time we see somebody rapping to a black song, they're like, oh, shit, she can come to the cookout. You don't know nothing about Bro. this, bitch. She, she can come to the cookout just because she can rap a black song? Oh, that's cool. What about the other, like, perspective, though? Her podcast or her episodes was so fucking viral. Like, wouldn't you want to be on there? Like, like you said, Offset. There's a there's benefits. Offset was there. Offset like, was promoting his album at the time for sure. Yeah. Um. No, there's definitely benefits, but I think it should be a union, right? It shouldn't be like, yo, I'm coming on there and you shitting on me, but it's like you're only treating a black people that way. It looks away. Especially when the people that really got you popping was the, was the niggas. That's who put you on. It was Drake, Marco, Tyga, Offset. Those are the people you were interviewing. And now it's like, oh, you you on you talking to, to these white actresses? Did you talk well, to? It looks so crazy. That, I'm guessing like now that this has become an actual thing and people have like caught on. Are you saying like more people in the black community have just basically like blackballed her? Or pretty you're much. Like pretty much. It's like it's her real. Her, just don't even care. I think people that that video that came out is kind of showing just how mean spirited she can be. Where like the ignorance that she showed early on seem to have been an act for real like or like it's like you really have like a mean spirit so you were you were knowingly shitting on niggas but you're just passing it off as i know what i was doing like i'm just a white girl from suburbia mm. so you know she kind of got it like intent. okay Abs- absolutely absolutely but Damn. um i think that's it for today um we'll be back next week uh with another episode Leave your thoughts um, below as far as anything you want us to talk about. Um, Ali, Corey, any 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 closing closing words, final statements? Yeah, I mean, like, if you don't listen to, I mean, if your goat rapper ain't got a big dick, I don't know why you listening to your favorite rapper or why. <laughs> hey, rapper, yo, I'll just leave it on that. You know what I'm saying? Like, couldn't be me. Uh, Hashtag Drizzy. <laughs> Hold Listen. on, when did you convert Ali to a Drizzy stand? That's crazy. I feel like uh, I think it's happened I, over time. No, no, yeah, I did. I mean, no, that's crazy. crazy. Ale wasn't a fan until he saw his dick. No, that's not true. It was a lot before that. You know what I'm saying? But like, he saw it, but that solidified think, it for him. I think you know, quietly done converted me. You know, quietly, brother, they done sucked this man off so much. It's like at some point you want a piece. Pause. That's crazy. <laughs> y'all, y'all saw Draymond and Isaiah Stewart. Nah. I did not. Mm. But you let Corey get his shit before. But know. nah, man. Uh, I just want to say. Uh, Wait, Corey, Corey, before you say that, before you say that. Go ahead. I, I, my bad. I was going to say, like, did y'all see Jeremiah's comments on KD, though, and Nurkic? Uh, yeah. What's I wrong with that Corey, nigga, bro? 
Hey man, fuck him. What's wrong with that nigga, bro? I'm with it. I like it. You like what Draymond said? I, I mean, I personally would still want Draymond on the Lakers, so you know what I'm saying? I like it. Corey's right. I like it. Wait, wait, wait. What what statement do y'all hear? The one where he uh called your kids a bitch or some shit like yeah. that. He's basically nobody defense. Or oh, he said KD is a coward for talking about it. I mean, we know how they feel he or the relationship between him and KD, like but my, realistically, my thing, they should have never uh, have lost. But the only reason it was even fucking close, or I mean, outside of injuries, was because of that feud. And this just goes back to the feud all the way back then. Like there was legitimate shit. Like if someone calls you a bitch, like, yeah, you might that's be able it. To get over it, but yeah. that's like. They, but you can tell Draymond. Like, Draymond don't really care for KD at all. At all, you don't care for that. I name. think like Draymond probably got over it after he called him a bitch. Was like at that point he was like, I'm ready to like drop this dude as a friend he was ready for all that whereas katie's like katie's still like yeah because yeah. they had a, they had like a whole podcast nah, episode after that, that right yeah 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 where it's like nah we did this or you did that. but what what I lost know. me was when he said i can't believe they would question my character nigga huh so draymond? draymond said that yeah, i feel like draymond's delusional in that sense for sure but he like, said why would they question my character like you know that's gonna take money out of people's pockets nigga what you think KD and Nurkic is the reason why money's coming out of your pocket? Bro, you fucking damn near knocked this nigga out. But it's funny now seeing him, um, Isaiah Stewart, they got into it. I put it in the podcast chat. Him and Isaiah Stewart got into it. And it looked like he didn't want that smoke for real, though. Isaiah Stewart's the dude that chased down the yes. that one time right after he gave him the bloody yes. eye. Yes. I mean, Isaiah Stewart... Look! Look! Look at it! Look at! Look how Draymond is. Now he's trying to resolve shit. But you also you you think this is because he's like a fake tough guy, or you think this is because he's had like two incidents in like the last couple of weeks? Because remember mm, he had that fucking I see what you're saying. swing on Anthony Davis. You know what I'm saying? And it was that funny ass clip where uh, Vanderbilt is calling for the review, and he's mimicking Vanderbilt. <laughs> Have you seen that clip? I didn't see that one. I didn't see that, <laughs> that one. That's way too good because he almost like swiped fucking eighty as well. And it's like honestly, if Draymond didn't have a podcast or wasn't like such a media persona, he'd be at the NBA. Yes. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I didn't think about that perspective where it's like Draymond can't go to Isaiah Stewart because he that's it that'll be it for him yeah no no he can like i think for, i think that makes more sense to me simply because like yeah he's had like two three like he he, he his fucking police ratings are already hot like he can't be doing more especially Ooh. since he's coming off a of suspension like he actually got suspended for less than i thought he would like i thought he'd be i thought he'd be out for the season so, like I thought he'd be at least after the all-star yeah, yeah. That nigga came back, but when when he said that Adam Silver, what's, uh, what's his face, John Moran, bro? After Adam Silver said, after he said Adam Silver said, "Oh, I can't, I can't let you do that." I'm like, wait, no, Adam Silver said, "You yeah, we're gonna have to suspend you." Oh, yeah, was like, I'm man, retire, I'm retired. You can't retire. Shut up, Draymond. Nigga, what? You this... can't retire, bro. Get Draymond out of here, Corey. What's what's your last words, man? Uh, 